Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video about cost. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to this video about custom hooks in React. So a custom hook is just like any other hook you could say. And in the previous videos, we have been using two React hooks, use state and use effect. Now a custom hook is simply a function that we create ourselves, right? So the use effect and use state hook, those are React hooks. We import them from the React library. Now we've also been using Axios and even though Axios, you know, you could say is a function, um, it is not very common for people to call Axios a hook, right? So when we're talking about hooks, we're usually talking about either the React hooks or a custom made hook and something like Axios is, you know, more considered to be a library you're importing. So right now I just created um, two empty components, as you can see. And let's say we want to share some functionality between these two components. So as it already says right here, which is from the official React documentation, that if we want to share the logic, we can extract it to a third function. And since, you know, components and hooks are just JavaScript functions that can work perfectly fine. Um, so, well, let's create our first hook. Um, I will create a folder called hooks. Again, you can call this however you want. And I will call, I'll call this use hook. Or actually let's say use number. And what it can do now, I could say export default function use number. And from this function, I can simply return, let's say a number 55. And now when I go back to component A, I could say const number is use number and you will see it will automatically be imported since it's a function, we need to call it like this. And I can console lock the number. And let's say component A right here. And I will do the exact same for component B. But of course, it needs to import the use number here as well. There we go. And now when I go to my React app and reload it, you will see, and of course I need to change this to component B. Right now you will see that both that number is available for component A and component B. So obviously this is a very simple example, but let's say someone gives us the task to determine whether a user is on the mobile screen making use of a custom hook. And for our application, it's been given that um, every screen width um, below or equal to 768 pixels uh, is a mobile screen or a mobile device and everything above it will be a desktop. So what I can do is, well, first change the name of the hook. Uh, let's call this use is mobile. use is mobile. All right, so I could make use of the use state hook to have like our Boolean set either to true or false, whether it is mobile or not. Set as mobile, use state and by default, it will be no. And then I can uh, define a function that will actually do the calculation. So I will say calculate is mobile. And um, let's see, there we go. So we could say if the window dot inner width is smaller than or equal to 768 pixels, then return status mobile to true. 
So what this will say is that when the inner width of the screen um, in pixels is smaller or equal than 768 pixels, it will set is mobile to true. And otherwise it will set is mobile to false. So just to clarify this right here, what we are doing is called an early return. So that means that if this condition is true, it will set our state to true. And if that's not the case, we'll set it to false. So this line will not be executed if this statement is true. So then I also want to make sure that this function is run on the very initial mount of the component that's using it. So we can use use effect for this. And I will just pass in an empty dependency array. And I also want to make sure that let's say the someone or we are resizing our screen, um, that Boolean gets changed as well. So right here, I could say window dot at event listener. And you can see we need to pass a type. So it will be resize. And the next thing will actually be our function. And in that same use effect, we also want to run the function by default. And then this hook is going to return the is mobile boolean. So I want to save this and we change this right here as well. So this needs to be const is mobile. And now we can import that hook. So we could say use this mobile just like we did before. Call it and console log it. Can remove this and now we could actually go over to component B and have that same logic in there and actually also change this. So now when I go back to the app and refresh it, you will see it will first initialize with no and then we'll set it to false because our function runs. And now if I go right here and I see I made a mistake. Um, yes, and that's because that add event listener should be outside of the use effect. But now you'll see that once I start resizing the screen, we got a lot of console logs because every time we update that window size, uh, at least it's width, um, the function runs again, but you will see that right here, we are in that mobile range. And once we go out of it, boom, it switches to false. So, you know, there's the possibilities with custom hooks are like endlessly, right? You can do so much with it. Um, but just keep it in mind, if you want to share certain functionality between two components, then think about maybe creating a custom hook because it can make your life a lot easier. So that was it for this video. And I'd like to see you in the next one.